All right. So this is uh, day two of week 11. We are doing one more tempo workout. And then next week we'll be entering into our last phase basically, uh, which is our last four weeks of school. Um, just a reminder next week on Wednesday, we have a holiday, it's Veterans Day. So I will post a workout that you guys can do on your own which we really don't get the luxury of being able to do some of the other styles of workout because um, I'm trying to t have a timed workout so we fin start and finish at the same time. Um, so the workout on Wednesday, which is next week, will be a, uh, an AMRAP, which will, you'll finish. I'm gonna give you guys the workout and you'll finish in as many um, rounds as possible in a certain amount of time. Okay, so it's a cool workout. It's um, pretty intense in a different way. And it's just something that we can't really do together. Uh, so that will be something to look forward to. We will still work out on Monday. So we have our Monday workout and then Wednesday will be on your own. And again, I will put that on, um, I'll record it. And then you guys can check out on YouTube um, or you can, I will send it to your instructors, whoever your instructor is, and they can put it in their Canvas uh, module. Okay, so the workout for today, again, tempo, as I mentioned. So four second countdown, holding for two, powering up. Uh, we have done these before, I'm just tweaking them a little bit. So we'll go through the beginning uh, pretty quickly. So. Front squat, we did this one before. So our four second count down with our front squat, we hold for two at the bottom, power back up. The whole idea with that uh, squat, I want you to, where your feet are grounded, I want you to think about externally rotating your feet. So you're actually not going to externally rotate them, but imagine putting more pressure on the outside of your feet and that will bring your knees out in proper alignment. And it will also engage the areas that you're working. So it'll help engage your quads, your glutes. As you're coming down in that bottom pocket position, don't just do the motion. The whole idea with tempo training is to think about what you're doing and you're doing it slow and controlled. So at the bottom, at that isometric part, you're holding and tightening up the muscles. Think about glutes sucking up right under you. So then you have maximum muscles and then powering up, okay? Um, so we're gonna do that for a minute, rest another minute for the tempo, rest, and then we're doing squat jumps with no weight for 30 seconds. The next one, we are doing a tempo eccentric, uh, Bulgarian squat. So right leg is first, then left leg. So a right leg, you can have two dumbbells, you can have one or whatever weighted object you're using. So if you have one, you can hold it like the goblet squat at the head, or you can place it uh, basically perpendicular and hold the both heads or parallel to your shoulders, if, if you will. Okay, just making sure with your Bulgarian squat that you have that step that is stable. All right, so usually you see me using a small uh, stool. The stool is not stable enough for this Bulgarian split squat. So that's why I have this big chest here. Making sure that you're hop as far forward as you need to. So your knee is not protruding over your, your toe so much, okay? So hop that foot forward. And then our four second count down, we hold at the bottom, powering back up. And then after we do the single, then we're gonna go hop. And we're going hop, single leg, no weight for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna switch back and forth with the right and the left. Exercise three, we did this with our tempo a couple weeks ago, our hang. Dumbbell hang, clean, press, and then lower. So the power part is our hang clean. Dumbbells right by your, basically touching your thighs. I'm gonna hip hinge, glutes come out. My torso, my spine is neutral. 
I come down, I send my knees back, and I want you guys starting below your knees at in this hang part today. So I don't want a high hang, I want just below the knees. So I'm gonna extend my hips, power up, clean to basically our front rack squat position, clean the dumbbells, my shoulders, and then I dip drive, press into that shoulder press position. Here's where we have the eccentric part, eccentric lower, four, three, two, one. Notice my grip is a neutral grip. Okay, so you can choose neutral grip or pronated grip in that press. Okay, so that's up to you to choose. So if you do pronated grip, palms facing your camera, then you're gonna turn and go into a bicep curl. So with the bicep curl, keep the elbows in. If you have a tendency to lean back with the bicep curl, then you may want to put your back against the wall so you can't cheat, all right? So it keeps you honest with your exercise. So again, our hang, clean, press, slow, controlled, lower down, slow, controlled, lower. So it's our shoulder press, lower, eccentric, and the bicep curl, slow. We do that, two minutes. So one minute rest, another minute, and then we're doing burpees. You guys know the burpees by now. The next exercise is a single leg, a single arm bridge. So with our single leg, you're gonna start with two feet on. I want preferably to be on a step. If you're not feeling it on a step, if it's too much for you, then you can place your heels down on the floor. But at this point in the semester, you should be able to challenge yourself a little bit more. Uh, heels down. So this 90 degree angle, we're gonna start with our right leg on and then left leg will be off, still at a 90 degree angle. We have right leg down, single arm, left arm with the vice, the uh, chest press, the dumbbell, okay? So we press up arm and leg at the same time. So we press, and then slow lower, four, three, two, one, and press. Now with our bridge, as always, when we're in our bridge position, our back should not be up. We need to ground the back. So tilt that pelvis, engage your abs. My back is flat on the floor. If I try to reach through with my hand, I can't. Okay, similar to that dead bug that we're gonna be doing later. So it's nice and braced in my core, all right? And I'm driving my heel down and back toward my body, feeling it in my hamstring. If you feel into your low back, you're lifting too high, or you are not grounding yourself well enough at the beginning. If you have a hard time doing that, then take yourself off of the step and go from the ground, all right? So single arm, single leg, we'll switch that, similar to what we're doing with the uh, single leg, the uh, Bulgarian squat. In between that, we are doing a push up and our mountain climber. Okay, so that's the power move. One push up, four mountain climbers for 30 seconds, and that's after we do both sides. The uh, last area, area five, is a uh, pullover. So we did this a couple weeks ago as well. I have a little tweak with our tabletop this week. So I want you to focus more on your lats. Um, it's a chest, pec, and lat exercise. The way you can tweak it, um, you can tweak for your lats or for your pecs. So um, I'm going to explain. As you come out, so we're doing a single dumbbell. You want your uh, like mid thoracic area and upper back on the bench or step or chair, whatever you're using. So today I mentioned I want you to focus more on lats. So your hips, instead of tabletop, which we usually do, I want your hips to sink down slightly, all right? And we're gonna hug the dumbbell head. And I want your elbows, think about your elbows leading here, all right? And elbows should be in. So my head's gonna rest. I want your head resting today so you can really work the lats. So as we extend back over the head, so we're going 
the hips down. Four, three, two, one. And then you can pull up and slightly lift the hips up. Okay. Now I'm going to lower down my hips. Four, three, two, one. So I'm lowering my hips, lowering the arms. Elbows are in. All right. And I pull up. So the whole idea there. As my hips come down, so my lats are way down here. So as I sink my hips down, I'm engaging the lats as I as I sink, and I'm pulling from my lats instead of my pecs. Okay, so my elbows are in instead of winging out. That's a big difference between the pec. So if I do, if I want to work my chest more, I'm going to wing my elbows out and stay in bridge position. Okay, if I want to work more lats, I'm going to drop my hips down and I have my elbows in. Your lats attach way up here, basically where your pecs attach. Okay, so that's the difference there. Goal today is for you to work your lats a little bit more. So I will cue you with that. And then we have our core finisher at the end. All right, so last day again for tempo training. Let's get into our warm up. Gather what you need. If you have heavier weights, maybe you grab some heavier weights today because we are in uh, dumbbells. We're in a phase that you can have a little bit heavier. All right. So let's start with our warm up jump rope, imaginary jump rope. So, speed rope. We're on our toes, arms, right by our side. So when you're jumping rope, you're not jumping rope, circling your arms. Your arms are right by your sides and whipping your wrists. And almost like your, your thumbs whip forward and through, all right? So if you're really good with that jump rope, that speed rope, then you can work on quickness. All right, let's go two feet take off, two feet landing, we got jump rope. Mentioned this before, one cheap piece of equipment that you can get is a jump rope. I highly recommend it. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that jump rope. We're twisting on your toes. I want elbows high. So we're twisting from the hips. Keep going here as I tap. So think about twisting from your hips, loosening up the spine. Chest is tall and opening up here. So we're getting all planes of our body. Front to plane, transverse plane, sagittal plane in our warm up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Going out to a wide squat. Squat, twist. Squat, twist. Opposite elbow to knee. Sinking back, down to the heels. Chest is up. As tight as you can bring your elbow to your knee. Open up the hips all the way at the top. One more each side. Good. Let's go side lunge. Twist. Side lunge. Twist. So we went from sagittal planes out to frontal plane for those two means yellow teenagers. One more. So other side. But out chest is up. So if you're sore from Monday's workout. The best thing to do is exercise. One more. Down. Let's go for some lunge. 
So one leg is grounded. I don't care what leg we're going forward about. Allow your hips. Oh, yeah. Sit in there right now, man. Feel this right here. This guy starts. Yeah, tell it. I see you. Show this. Go along. Back knee hug. Right leg is up. 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 Right
Inhale, lift your fingers. Inhale, exhale, hinge. And to the right, or whatever leg is in front, hinge that side. Bend that elbow that's opposite of the knee. Hinge a little bit more, so we're getting some lat stretch. Going all the way through. Good. Shake the elbows up. Go far up. Exhale down. Step back down. Good. New Jersey, put your left leg or other leg New forward. Jersey, lunge, arms up. Jersey, inhale, exhale over, hold the breathe. Grab the opposite elbow or arm. Grab the elbow up and over. Chest is up. Inhale, exhale, release. Take that leg back, left leg back, and up. Hamstring stretch on the right. Both legs down. Walk your hands back. One more time. Interlace the fingers. Straighten your arms. Chest is down. Slowly come up. All right, you guys, one more. Get into our workout. Tempo. I'm getting my timer. Okay, so we have one minute on. We rest. Another minute on. We rest. 30 seconds of explosive. Explosive exercise. Grab your dumbbells. Ready? And go. So, four second countdown. Four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. For two, we power up. So if you're not on my count, that's okay, because I'm going to be talking. So engage at the bottom, at the top, throughout the exercise. That's the whole idea of our tempo training. Remember I said, screw your feet into the ground. Keep that torso tall and move to that. Elbows high. Slide the elbows up into that flat spot as you explode. Think about your breath. Your breath is your imaginary belt, your brace. All right, you don't need a belt. Use your breath. We have 10 seconds. Get one more in there. Quality, not quantity today. Power up. Three, two, one, rest. We rest for 15. We get back on it. Shake out the arms. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Front squat. Tempo. Four, three, two, one. Hold for two and up. Four, three, two, one. Hold. One, two. Come on. It takes a little bit more focus with our tempo training. But that's why we should get bigger and stronger. You're recruiting more muscle fibers. Think about what you're doing. Hold. Power. Keep working here. Pocket and power. We have 15 seconds to go. Put more pressure on the outside of your feet. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Quality here. Don't finish. Go all the way to the end. Three, two, one. Time. Waist come down. Shake out the arms. We're going for 30 seconds of a squat jump. We have a longer rest right here. 10 more seconds of rest. Shake it out. Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, squat jump. Volleyball. Down and up, blocking. Think about sport specific. Ten seconds. And land lightly. Sink back. Explode. Open up the hips and rest. Shake it out. Long rest here. 
Grab water if you need it. Getting into our exercise too. So we have our single leg. Bulgarian split squat. Right leg is down. Left leg is up. Holding that dumbbell. Four second count now. In 15. Make sure that your step is stable. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. One minute of this. One minute. Keep that chest tall. Four second count down. Try to get your hip crease parallel to your knee. Hold for two. We power up. Feel your glutes engage. Squeeze your glute. All right. Ground your heel down. So your whole foot is down, but think about driving through that front heel. Your front heel is driving into the ground and back towards your body, and that's going to engage your hamstring a little bit more. We have a lot of power in this area of our body. Let's use it. Come on. 20 seconds. Get that glute right under you and power up. Keep your chest tall. Look forward once you get the exercise. You have 10 seconds. Stay with it. Four, three, two, one. Yes, weight comes down. We're going for a hop. 30 seconds. Burn it out. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Hop. Leg like hop. Come on. 20. Use your arms. Use your arms. Now we're exploding off our toe. Lay on full foot. Explode off the toe. Come on. You're light. Move. Keep it going. Low down and explode. Don't short yourself. I know you're trying to go fast, but load and explode. Rest. Shake it out. So the power is just 30 seconds. All right, we're going left leg. Right leg is up, left leg is down. Ready? Go. One minute of slow. Tempo. Hold for two. As you're holding down for two, feel your glute engage and then power up. Think about your breath. Try to control your breath a little bit more. Toe is up on the step. The knee that's bent, drive that knee down, not forward. Bend that back knee. Keep the chest tall with that weight. Remember, if you want two, you can grab two weights. The core brace. 15 seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. Power. So I'm at power in that single leg. We have five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. 30 seconds of our hop. Ten. Here we go. Right leg up, left leg down. Get ready. Let it explode. And go. 30 seconds. Come on. Think about quickness right here. Think about tap and go. Tap and go. Let's go. 15 more seconds. Use your arms. Tap and go. Light on that left foot. 10. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Do one more round each side. 
with all the stern and justice stern. And people were behaving like they ought to go. Get ready for that right. Little boy who was right leg, down, left leg up. Here we go, one minute, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Hold up the butt. Come on. Relax your shoulders. Relax your breath. Punch him in his belly and he gave Focus on what where you should be working. So where is that? We have glutes, hamstrings, engaged. You're doing some quad work as well. This is going to feel so much better after the workout from Monday. We have 20 seconds. Keep it going. Shot for the heavy shot back, but he's somebody wants to the world is gone. That back knee needs to bend right by your step. Heel down and back. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get it out. You know you're getting tired. Stay with it. Stay focused. Right leg down. Left leg up. We're hopping. Single leg hop. Let's go. 30 seconds. Come on. Come on. Keep it going. We're halfway. Use your arms. Keep that chest tall. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Let me see you guys work here. I should be seeing all of you in the camera. That's it. Nice, Jared. Come on, Alfredo. Hop, hop. Come on, Jamie. Get that foot off the ground. Let's go, guys. Rest. Rest. All right. If you're not showing your face, you need to show your face on the screen. Left leg down. Right leg up. Last round here with area two. Ready? And go. Slow lower. One minute here. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbow. It's very mean and nasty. This is going to help you with your power moves. Every sport has some explosive component to it. Keep it going right here. We're halfway. Halfway. Keep your chest tall. If the weight is too heavy, drop the weight and keep the quality tempo. Nice, Clarissa. That looks really good. Keep that chest tall, shoulders down. Yes. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake it out. Last set of hops. Four, three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds here. Left leg is down. Right leg is up for hopping. Come on, move. 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 You have 10 seconds to go. Yes. That's it. Think about your arms going up as you go up. Use your arms the right way. Arms go up as you go up and rest and rest. So with hops, you guys, we jump up and bring our arms up. All right, some of you are doing opposite. You're gonna get more as you bring your arms up. Okay, we're resting here. Exercise area three is our hang clean press and then eccentric lower shoulder press and bicep curl. So we still have about 20 seconds here. Grab your water. So we're going one minute. We rest for 15. One more minute. In 15. Feet right under you. They're narrower than they would be for our squat. Three, two, one, hip hinge, come on. Clean, fresh, slow, four, three, 
three, two, one. Curl, four, three, two, one. Power. Don't short yourself with that lower. Shoulders down and back, stay tall. Bicep curl. Elbows stay in. Shoulders down and back. Make sure you're bringing those dumbbells, but lower your knees for your hang power two. You can use a bar if you want to. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We have one more minute. And then we're going burpees. One more minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. And clean press. Slow. 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 Try not to lean back. Stick it. Let's go. Rib cage tucked. You can go hammer curl if you want this time. That means neutral grip. Slow shoulder press into a reverse curl. We have 25 more seconds left. Think about what you're doing. Control. Brace your core. 15 seconds. Use your breath as your belt. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Burpees for 30 in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, burpees. Keep it going. We're halfway, 15 seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good job. All right. Area four. Try to catch my breath. All right, area four. We're going to that bridge. So get set. One dumbbell. One step. We have right heel down first. Left arm has the dumbbell. We start with 90 degree angle, both legs. We're going to lift that left leg up and we're driving that right heel down and back. Pressing up, four second count down with both. Core is braced. So especially a little bit more since we have this single arm. We're going in four, tuck that tailbone, back flat, and go, press. Four, three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. So our hips and our arm lowering at the same time. Keep going. Drive it up. Keep that tailbone tucked. Slowly come down. Tap and go. If you're feeling it in your back, then you need to tilt the pelvis a little bit more. Think about what you're doing. We have about 20 seconds left. 
Lower. Hamstring on that right leg. Should be feeling it burning here. Come on, work through it. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going other side, right into the other side in five seconds. Last leg down, right leg is up. Right arm has the dumbbell. Ready, and go. Four, three, two, one. Tap and go. that 90 degree angle. If you're not feeling this in your hamstring and you're loose, then you need to drive your heel down a little bit more and back toward your body. Don't forget about that. Don't just go through the motion. Stay strong. I'm more focused on your lower body. Upper body is just a bonus right now. 15 seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, we're gonna do those again. One more minute each. We have a push up, 30 second, and our mountain climber. Four, three, two, one. One push up, four mountain climbers. Knee, all the way up to your tricep for those mountain climbers. And you're going push up. Think about externally rotating your hands. Try to keep abs, quads tight, glutes nice and strong. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Go back to your setup for your single leg. One left leg first this time. Left leg down, right arm dumbbell. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Up. Slowly lower. One minute of this. Up. Come on, come on. Come on. Stay focused. Come on, come on. Stay with it here. Sometimes the slow tempo takes a little bit more focus. One more time. Down and back with your heel, lowering the hips and the arm at the same time. Relax your shoulder. Think about where your arm is, working your pec. Try to get that best motion for your body and the safest for your shoulder, wherever you are with your shoulder strength. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're switching. Right heel down, left arm. If you feel like you need to stretch out that left hamstring, that's good. It means you're working it. All right, here we go in five, four, Three, two, one. Let's go. Press. One more time. Press. Pause at the top. Four, three, two, one. Go. Tap and go. Four, three. We're more than halfway. Keep it up. Tuck that tailbone. Don't cheat yourself here, you guys. Stay with good form. Remember, it's quality today, not quantity today. We don't care about reps. We want quality workout with that slow tempo, including as many muscle fibers as possible. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're going into our push up. Push up mountain climber. We did one more power movement here. This is okay. Ready? And go. Here we go. 30 seconds. If 
you keep starting with your right for mountain climber. Switch it up, go with left. Come on. Ten seconds, let's go. Keep it up. Come on. Fight till the end. All the way. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Shake it out. Good job. All right. We have our last round. Our tabletop. We have one minute. We get 15 second rest. Another minute. And then we're going with our plank. Our pop jack. I didn't show you at the beginning, but that's okay. All right. So we have our pullovers. Mid to upper back on your bench. I want head resting today. Relax your neck today. Hug the head of the dumbbell. Hips down today. So we start up. Dumbbell right above our chest. Up, elbows in. Ready? And go. Four, three, two, one. Hips are lowered. Come up. Four, three, elbows in. The elbows come up. You can bring the hips up slightly as you come up. Lower the hips. Lower the arms. Slow. Slow. Feel your lats. That's your back area. Feel engaged. Come on. Lower the hips. Feel your back. Pause at the end. Pull it up. So it's not a tricep extension. We keep the arms straight the whole time. We have 20 more seconds of this tempo. Let's go. Come on. We have 10 seconds. Hips up down. Elbows in. Three, two, one, and rest. So just 15 seconds. You should be feeling this in your lats. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Last one minute. Last tempo of the day. And go. Start tall. Four. Lower the hips. Two. One. Power up. Four. Three. Two. One. Elbows in. As opposed to bringing out. Come on. Think about what you're doing here, where you're engaging. Shoulders should be down and back. Lower the hips. Feel that stretch. Feel the pull. And then we come up in power. Keep it going here. We have 15 more seconds. You can at least get two quality reps in here. Pause at that extension. We have 10 seconds to go. Come on, lower the hips and you're reaching back at the same time. Hips can come up and you're pulling up. And rest. Good job, you guys. We have our pop jack. So we're here on plank. We can pop up into a low squat. Plank, pop. All right? So you can pop it into a low squat. You can pop up into a staggered stance if you want. Ready? Two, one, 30 seconds. Let's go. Maybe you mix it up. You go from one side to the other side to the center. Come on. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Okay. We always finish up with a core finisher. So today, what we've been doing, working on is a dead bug. So let's get really quality with our dead bug. If you're feeling that you're getting stronger, if you started with your legs down, then you can go legs up. If you bend legs up, 
you can extend arms and legs. If you can do arms and legs, stay with it. Get quality reps in here. If you have light weights, and light weights, I mean three, five would be max right now, okay? That's how light I would, I would even, even a physical therapist would do. They're not, you're not going heavy here. So if you don't have those, don't worry about it. Let's go quality with our dead bug, all right? So when we're extending arm and leg out, we should not have our back pop up off the floor. So stick it down, engage your abs, almost as if I'm punching your stomach, you're tightening up your core, okay? Be honest and make yourself accountable there, okay? If you're not doing it right, it's not gonna help you. Then we're going into a side plank pump. So you can go forearm down, shoulder over the, rib, the elbow. Uh, staggered feet is easiest. Then go to stacked feet, dropping the hips down, pumping up and slightly forward with that hip. Down and up, slightly forward. If you want even harder, if this is easy, bring one leg up. If it hurts your shoulder, just not feeling it in the shoulder because of the work, then we can go into a side via. All right, so that's your option. So we're going dead bug, one side, the other side, three times, 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Dead bug, ready, and go. Extend out and come up. We are not on a count timer, a uh, uh, four second eccentric. We are just going slow and controlled here. Slow and controlled, 15 more seconds. Think about your breath. We inhale, extend, exhale, bring it up. So think about that belly tight as you extend down and rest. Whatever side you want to start with, I don't care. Shoulders should be over the elbow. Feet stacked if you want, ready. Drop down and come up and go. As you're dropping the hip down, Bring that hip up and slightly forward as you come up. Feel your obliques and your transverse abdominis working here. Okay, if you're not feeling it, stop, regroup, or go into a side V up, which will be a little bit easier on your shoulder. Let's go, keep going. Five, three, two, one, and other side. Ready and go. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Come on. Stay strong here. We have 10 seconds. If you want the optimal arm to come down and assist you, you can also do that. Three two, one, rest on your back. Go with your dead bug. Five, four, three, ground your back and go. Slow and controlled quality movement here. Keep your back flat on the floor. Extend your leg first. If you can go arm and leg, that's the bonus. If you can keep your back flat, arm and leg, and you want more, just adding a very light weight. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Start with the opposite side you did last time. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Tap down, up and slightly forward. Come on. Maybe you tap your hand to your obliques so you get that mind and body connection. You feel your body engage. You feel those muscles working. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate on the other side. 
Ready? And go. 30 seconds. So top arm can be up on your hip, touching your obliques, or on the ground. Keep going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest on your back. Last round. Best round. Dead bug. Here we go. Get into your neutral position. Three, two, one, and extend. Back is flat. Keep it up. I'm watching you guys here. Stay tall, stay long, stay grounded. That's it. Megan, that looks really good. Good. Quality here. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six. Dylan, that looks really good. Three, two, one, and rest. Roll onto your side. Carolina, I like that you're adding some weights, light weights. Good job. Here we go, guys, on your side. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Whatever you're doing, down and up. I'm watching you guys this time. Stay strong. Control that way down. Good, Saki. Nice. Make sure that you're being safe for your shoulder here. All right? Don't fight to, through pain. I know some of you guys have some shoulder issues. Just be smart about this. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, other side. Here we go. Ready. And go. Down and up. Keep working. Keep working. Halfway. Keep it up. Keep it up. So some of you guys have turned off your camera. You know, I like to see you guys. All right. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. So go into child pose. All right. I want your toes together, knees out wide, wider than a, a normal child's pose. Hands walked out. Push your hands forward, brings your glutes to your heels a little bit more so. Deep breath in, fill the belly, rib cage, and chest. Open mouth, exhale. Walk both hands over to the right. Push that left hand forward a little bit more, and you're gonna feel the left side work stretching a little bit more than the right. Try to square your shoulders to the floor. Deep breath in, exhale, and let's walk through the middle, over to the other side, push. So we're on the left side, right hand is pushing it a little bit more, feeling the right side stretch. So you may feel from your low back all the way through your pinky stretching here. We're getting some deeper muscles, quadratus and worm, which gets really tight for some people. Back to the center. Drop your elbows down, hands into prayer, chin to your chest and bring your thumbs back to the nape of your neck. Drive your elbows down and back toward your body. And this is gonna get your stretch through your lats. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good, hands out, come into down dog. And bicycle, drawing one heel down and then the other. So 
So I know some of you don't like to stretch that often. So I try to honor that, bring the right leg up, left leg down and swing it through, come into a modified lunge. So at least do a little bit of stretch like we're doing right now. So I always finish with a little bit of stretching, not too crazy. So we're in a modified lunge, hip flexors. I want that, so my right knee is forward. Whatever knee you have forward, the opposite arm, bend the arm, grab the elbow, inhale up, exhale over. So if you have some shoulder issues going on, it may be from your lats. It may be from some uh, muscle imbalance or tightness. So that's why I'm trying to do a little bit more stretch today through the lats and because we worked our lats. Hands down, step back, down dog again. Bring your left leg up, right leg is down. And then swing that leg through, drop the right knee, toes. Come up into our modified lunge, arms up. Right arm bends, grab your right elbow, inhale, exhale over. And release. Step forward, fold, slowly come up. We're going to go quad stretch in a standing pigeon, then we're done. Right leg is down, left leg comes up, quad stretch. So if you've been consistent with these workouts, um, I was interested at the beginning of the semester to see how uh, your fitness level would be, how the strength would be. So uh, I crossed standing pigeon. I ended up um, doing a front squat max the other day. On Fridays, I do a CrossFit workout. And uh, my front squat improved 20 pounds. I haven't been doing anything other than this stuff. So, and the uh, the Friday CrossFit workouts. So, and come up. So I'm curious to see once you guys, you know, get back in, if you are in the gym now and you have been consistent with these workouts, have you improved with your maxes? So if you have, let me know, email me, droman at El Camino. Um, I'm curious, I was pretty shocked that my front squat improved 20 pounds, that's, that's a lot. Uh, in a, in a period of time. So, and sink down. So we're not even through a full semester of class yet. Good, and come up, shake it out. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale down. All right, you guys, thanks for the workout. Have a great weekend. And I will see you next Monday. Thank you, coach. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.